Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to create our first development store in Shopify. So I will come to the Shopify partner here. Start creating your account. I hope you have created your partner account and you are in this dashboard. If you haven't, please watch the previous video where I will talk about how you can create a partner account and you can get unlimited free development store. So I will create my store. Just add your store. All you require is just to know what you are going to create and what is the name of it. I am going to create a development store. There is a manager store which is going to cost you something. So I will create the development store. This is going to be completely free. The only limitation in development store is you can have only 50 orders, like 50 real orders. You can have unlimited test orders, but 50 orders which is going to be the real orders, people can buy it. That is the limitation of the Shopify development store. After that, you cannot do anything because that is for development. And this is going to be completely free forever. And the amount of product, you can have as many products as you want. Why they have development store? Because some clients cannot like, when they start creating their store, it takes like two or three months. For three months, they don't want to pay for Shopify. They want to create a Shopify development store. They want to create their, all their team configuration. They add all their product, all their SKUs. And everything, once everything finished, they can just migrate their store to a managed store. That is how it works. So for now, I will create a development store. And here is where you can give it a name. And the name for this one is going to be easy, whatever you want. But they will add the extension of my Shopify at the end of it. So I'm going to give it a name of code inspire. If I say code inspire, it is going to give me that URL because no one already took it. So I will say code inspire hyphen dev. So this is going to be code inspire, code inspire development store for the YouTube. Also, I will create a uh, Git repository for the theme I create on Git. Uh, whatever I write, I will push it on GitHub. So you can see whatever changes I have in my theme. So for now, this is our store name and it will be my email address. And for the password, I will just write something. So make sure you write your password. I shouldn't say that. So, and you can scroll down here. They have a developer preview, which is new. And if you are going to check this box, they are going to give you the developer preview mode. So what is this option? This is not for developers. Do not check this one. This is for developers. If you want to experiment new feature on Shopify. Sometimes Shopify bring an update without letting you like letting you know that is the latest update But most of the things break and does not work even if it is development store That's why I don't want to like see the developer preview the new update comes I don't know about this one and it just break my store. So I'm not going to do that one So I will come down here. You can create all you can just write all your address here I will fill everything behind the scene, but if I scroll down for the purpose of your store is going to be testing app and theme so of course i'm going to create my theme here so that's why i select this one and for the address i will do it behind the scene so the next step is creating your store just click on the last button to create your store i will not save my password because i know what was my password it will take a few seconds to create your store and you are good to go that's all your store is ready now if you click on this eye icon here you can review the front page of your store Oh my god, it, it happens like sometimes when you quickly create your account and it does not distinguish this use this subdomain here. That's why this happened. Just take it a while and it is going to work just fine. Now if I come here, just refresh it, voila, it is your store and it is ready. And if you scroll down, these are all the test stuff you have here. Now this is going to be a public URL for your store and you can share it with anyone you want. But before doing that, if you come to the online store, going to the preferences, there is an option that will let you add a password for your page. For example, you are uh, adding your development store and you don't want people to see everything you are adding because you might uh, just test something and you add some gibberish code here or gibberish text here, but you don't want people to see it. That's why you can add a front page password for your uh, for your store if you come here scroll down and here is your password protection and enable password This is going to be the password for my page. Of course. I'm going to reset it now if you have seen it 
So that's it in this video. If someone from outside visit this store, they will not be uh, able to access this one unless they know my password, which is going to be different at the time you are watching this. So I hope it has been informative. Thank you for watching. And in the next video, I will talk about around Shopify. As I said, the first few videos are going to be about Shopify and how everything is working around. So if you don't have any experience, it will be a little like uh, guide for you. If you do have Shopify experience, you can skip a few videos until we come to the Shopify team development. That's it. See you in the next video.